lineup for the Washington Huskies, you'll notice once again, Frank Kepnong, the one-time duck, will not play. He did come out and go through some freshmen. We talked about Shellstab, but Kwame Evans as well has been big for them. Forced into duty because of the bigs. The wings are doing a lot of scoring, and they're not great shooting wings, so they slash, try and get into the paint with the dribble as much as they can. Deion Brooks just beats the terms of being able to do it at all three levels. He's improved his, his three-point shooting. He's up over 40% now. And so he's really difficult to deal with because he's still what you're referencing, Ted, is the zone that Mike Hopkins brought from Syracuse and played that primarily. Up until last year, they started playing more man as Kusnard hits the th roster construction of this Washington team. Feel like they'd be better in man-to-man -man defense. That's why they played it most of the year. Wheeler gets the deuce, but born to play that spot in the zone. Mm -hmm. And the first two years here were fabulous. Brooks on the run, got hit by Kuznar, and the foul on the Oregon. Paint makes stuff happen. Mulcahy gets it back from Wheeler. Boy, great look. Into the paint, getting into the paint and spraying out the shooters. That's why they brought in these guys that could shoot. Mulcahy, Wood. Ooh, round it out, shell stack. Oh, but he play, when he has the ball in his hands, he's making plays. You're right. Evans tried that spinning dump pass into Diawara, and then. But like I said earlier, trap, try and turn you over. But mostly it's used just to make you burn shot clock before you get into the half court. Nice scoop. And shoots that scoop shot. Wheeler pushing it. Wheeler going all the way in and finishing again. Well, so Oregon's got to do a better job of walling off earlier so he doesn't get all the way to the rim. And right now the Ducks, this is where they miss, of course. But again, for Washington, guarding without fouling and putting the other team on the line. Loose ball. Well, I think that was a loose ball that ended up at last night from USC. That's been the theme here early in the season. has been the teams that move it really play good offense. Again, late clock, so Brighton back. But and he'll muscle with you down there. Got Evans to miss on that last one. Quindo in the lane follows his own and draws it. That's what they want to do. Washington knows it's coming, so Quindo would be better served. Get the ball moving, get it from one side to the other. Driving lanes open up and then go. Now that's the catching. I would. But set up by Wheeler. It's easier said than done. When Wheeler's gashing your defense, you've got to collapse. Yeah, speaking of. <laughs> Late clock a couple times for that. Wow. That's the third time the Husky. Yeah. <laughs> and in the air, fouled is do they have a nice send-off on campus here for the team as they head down to Houston. The Diawara. Hits Tracy. Well, and, and continue to win. You know, look, exactly. Oregon, if they're going to play in the NCAA tournament, has got to win these games yeah. until they come back. The Awara blocked, and that's going to be. Washington's defense here early has been pretty good. Contested pretty much everything. And there's the free foul line shot that dances and drops for Cor Moves, and it's Bartholomew's floater. Well, the Ducks have just, there's a lid on it for Oregon right now. And that breaks it right there. Kuznard. Nice job. It was two work. Washington before last weekend was in the first four out. And those weren't two bad losses for them, but they need to make up some ground. And winning both these games at home, there's not a lot of rhythm and flow to this game here in the first half. It's hard to be good offensively when it's choppy. Oregon right now is another risky key play. Point. Risky play by Kusnar. Shellstad runs the floor and finishes with his left. And Kusnar poked that away. That's four steals already for Oregon. And with that layup, the Ducks still just seven of 23 from the floor. But Wheeler again finishing and we releasing it away from his body to keep it away from the defender. A lot of guys try that shot, but don't make it very often. He seems to make it every time. Jude Rigsby, and that's nice. He did took that way. He had so much time there. He got the ball right where he wanted it in the shooting hand. It's almost worse when you have that much Exactly. Time. I knew you were going to say that. Nice tip there. Who's Nard? Nice 
muscle so drive there by there. Brooks. Dude. As fleet as it gets on the offensive end individually in this league. Boom, Shellstad, nice pass. So the Ducks have come back to take a lead here, down seven at one point and a half. And Brooks will have a chance to get it right back to Washington. Dane Altman getting away with playing him for a stretch, and Kuznard not picking up a third uh, foul. And, and mission accomplished. They still got a yeah. one-point lead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, now the Huskies get it back. I know a few they people. Said everybody, I, if they do that, everyone should boycott the absolutely. game until they take absolutely. it back to the Rose Bowl. I know a few people that I think have something to say about, about that. <laughs> if they run a second Ooh. defender. I'm surprised he didn't go with Tracy yeah. there. So Brooks will shoot the three and knock it down. That's what's different with him available because everyone's staying home. Mm -hmm. That time Shellstad went quick. Yeah. Came to a two-foot stop but put it went, up went quick, really right. quick. Nice drive. Wheeler again. He's now six for the Ducks. So a nice change of pace by Rigsby and then Diawar is all there. Everybody. Well, that didn't take long, less than 60 seconds, and you already have Wilhelm at the table for the Huskies. And Wheeler, another spin. Just from the left of the basket. Make him go right no matter yeah. what. Diawara has to shoot this. Got it up to the rim. Not ambidextrous. Not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the second shot. Twice they've tried that. The Huskies twice they've missed in the half. And Evans runs right into. Hopefully poised for a freshman in his first road conference game. By the way, at that foul shot, first appearance. Sal, so we'll get to that in a second. Will. Now Breidenbach, five of eight coming in from behind the line. Hook delivers nicely to Diawara. And he finishes. Good. Nice. Took his time that then shoot threes. 32 percent on the season. So if if you're Washington, yeah. you're not closing out hard. There you go. First basket in college. Now Wheeler, and there you see what does Shellstad do? Finally made him go right. Yeah, uh, Shellstad, nice acceleration with the left, but Dior got stuck. And Wheeler's going to go in with his left here and finish. <laughs> yeah. Kuznard. And Kuznard gets that ball dancing all around the rim, including the tribe. The defense yeah. didn't reset, run some offense. Evans going up with the big height advantage, goes right in over Wheeler and scores. Good and hand. Kuznard picks the pocket. Cook running the floor. Well, Mookie crushing game. And Brooks goes right in on Tracy and scores. I mean, if you don't no fouls yet by the Ducks in the second half, I'm sure that was talked about at halftime. Nice off the cut, Shellstad. Oh, there I guess you go. So. There you go. I guess not. 83% on the season. And Breidenbach got free. Easy layup. Shellstead trying to quicken the pace. Gets Kuznar open. Mm. You see how fast Shellstead. Mm. Oh, and Brooks. Well, Breidenbach. Notice, Ted, that the, the cheers for Breidenbach are just a little bit louder than all the rest of the UW players. Bartholomew. And now, well, the Rams never had a beard. I don't think so. Corey Johnson and swatted. Bartholomew on Wood. Rigsby guarding Corin Johnson. The Breidenbach screen, nice. the roll, and nice. the finish. That was an either or. Last time out, Ted. Oregon shooting 75% yes. in the second half. Much different team this way. Diawara in, Diawara hit from behind. Interesting how that works. When you fouled too much in the first half, you're down six. Now you're not fouling, you're up six. Yeah. 11 fouls on the Ducks in the first half. And that. Triple handoff for those who don't know. Mia, oh, and he 
Well, he got hammered from behind. There's the roll, and Evans will flush that. Miss Evans rolled right to the rim with no resistance. Ooh, a nice, nice deflection by Cook, but Oregon didn't seize the loose ball. Long rebound to Breitenbach. I think that one's just get it in. Yeah. Corner three. How about Will? Mentioned earlier, played really well in the Utah game. And Shellstad right back at you. Nice answer by Shellstad to get two of the three back. Yeah, there's the open three. And Corey Johnson knocks it down. So that's a perfect one up. Johnson triggering. And now holds it up. Oh, but then no, no defense by Oregon. Wow. Wheeler on Shellstad. High screen, Shellstad doesn't use it. He's trapped. Job by Breidenbach. Yes, late clock. Rigsby has to have it. Mm. Rigsby. This is Dane Altman. That's right. Been. And here it is. A change at the end to see if it can impact. For the tie, Johnson buries it. And we are tied. Oh, he had Evans there. Yeah. He has him now. Kuznard finds Evans. Big Timeout. Bucket. But they're going to take it all the way down here. And it's Kuznard on Brooks. Got Kuznard it. beats him. Basketball game, Ted. And uh, guys stepped up, made plays. Kuznard made the biggest play of them all at the end to get that. Oh. And the Huskies will try to get their first win when they have Oregon State here on Saturday. We thank our team back at Master Control, led by Michael Monary and Jeff A. Kent. In Pullman, it's the Beeves and the Cougs.